The other day, one of my students was asking me, Tom, I cannot hit any winning volleys. I can't finish the point with my volley. How can I get more power? I've got a few tips for you on how to get more power. Number one, you want to step in as you're making contact. So step in, like for instance, when I'm hitting a volley, I'm here, I'm gonna turn now as I step in right before contact step that's going to give you forward movement into the volley that number one will add power number two coil the shoulders turn the shoulders coil the upper body and then when you uncoil into the shot that's going to give you power so for instance what i like to do when i'm in that ready position and i see a ball let's say hit to my forehand volley I keep that left hand on the throat of the racket. That makes me turn those shoulders. Now, once I get to here, I've made a target for the ball. Now I can let go with the left hand. But it's this, this coiling right here. Now, that's not a lot of coiling because we're talking about a standard volley here. This is not a swing volley, okay? Swing volley, you should definitely be able to generate plenty of power. But just on a standard volley, many players have trouble hitting the ball with power. So number one, step in. Right before contact, you're gonna step in with the lead foot, okay? As a right-hander, forehand volley, it's gonna be my left foot is stepping in. Number two, coil the upper body. Turn the shoulders. Just make a target for the ball, and then as you go to hit, you're gonna uncoil you're uncoiling into the shot. Now I got one more tip for you. Uh, imitate an accordion player, okay? You might say, an accordion player? Yeah, you know, accordion players are going like this, right? They've got a squeeze box and they're making sound with that accordion, all right? Now, once you turn to here, your left hand is going to come off the racket. But as you step in, let me show you from the side. So I'm here, I turn, and the left hand comes off the racket. But now, as I step in, I'm going to bring the hands together like that accordion player. And that's going to give you a little more power as well. So bring the hands together as you hit that forehand volley. So use those three tips. Let me demo that for you right now, and I'll give you a good look at it. Okay, I forgot to mention, when you go out to practice this, cover one point at a time. Maybe you're just thinking, okay, step in with that lead foot, or, you know, turn the shoulders, coil the upper body, and then uncoil into the shot. Or you want to imitate the accordion player and bring the hands together. One at a time when you're practicing, maybe two. You can think of two. If you wanted to think of two, that would work. Let's say you wanted to think of, you know, you're thinking stepping in and bringing the hands together. Okay, so, but never more than two. That's my advice as your coach. You don't want to think too much. If you're thinking too much, you're going to get confused. But when you're trying to groove a stroke like this, it's a good idea to think about it, to be conscious of what you're trying to achieve. So let me show you that stroke. Okay, so remember, work on those one at a time. First one, you're going to step in as you hit the ball. Number two, coil the upper body. And number three, bring those hands together like that accordion player. You see how my left hand comes back to the throat of the racket. So I'm bringing those hands. Okay, from the rear here now, step in. Remember, you want to take that step. So that's all I'm focusing on right there is taking the step. Number two, turn the shoulders. Coil the upper body. Coil that upper body. That again is going to give you a little more power. And then lastly, bring the hands together.
okay here in slow motion, you'll see as I see the ball coming, first thing, the coil. You'll see the upper body right there is coiling right there. Now here comes the step as I go to hit at contact and then the hands come together on the finish. Well, I hope you enjoyed those tips. Please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and also go to my website, which is in the uh, description box, ctwacademy.com. You're gonna find loads more content that's going to help you bring your game to a much higher level. All the best, take care.